Hey guys, it's CD Daniels over here, and I'm back after a long time without posting any videos. This shiny review is the first video of a new of a new thing I'm trying to do, which is the only voiceover instead of uh, a camera, without instead of actually recording. And the reason for this is because I just can't actually record myself because of the location of my my house. I can't record here, and because of that, <coughs> and because of that. Um, I'm trying to change it to that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, more of this will be coming and just peace out. As a kid growing up, there's always those movies that you know about that you're never allowed to see because you're just too young. And for me, The Shining was one of those movies. Finally, after many years of curiosity, I saw it and my god, it's way better than expected. But why is that? Well, it's because it's a creepy, extremely suspenseful, and psychological film taking all its time to build up each character in the setting of the Overlook Hotel. From the very beginning, the movie sets up the foundation of what will take place later on, and the film takes its time, creating the setup, sprinkling some foreshadowing throughout the first scenes of the film. The plot in its most simplest form is that Jack and his family have to take care of this hotel for five months in isolation to keep this hotel in great condition during the winter. As the months pass by, it starts to have a much bigger impact on the family. Jack's low turn into insanity is well done. The changes in mannerisms, the hallucinations, and memorable quotes just make Jack a very memorable character. The mother I didn't really like as a character, but the actress did an amazing job, especially when showing fear. The Shining basically lets you know from the get-go of the insanity that wants you, but the beauty is its ability to maintain your intention. This is definitely not your common type of horror, and it can even be said that the film isn't really that scary. But it is definitely unsettling, especially when the music score goes off, which actually reminds me of the opening scenes of Insidious. Along with the score, there's also beautiful cinematography that helps create this ambience, this tension. There's really not that many negatives, except how it can be a little slow at times, and anyone who wants to see it should be aware of that. My score for The Shining is an 8.9 out of 10. It's not perfect because I know a lot of people will go and watch the movie and be bored. But if you're intrigued from the beginning, if you're hooked from the get-go, then it will be an excellent, excellent ride. This is C.D. Daniels. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And hasta la vista.